last time you saw us, it was dough management round two. This episode is in West Texas with Hood and his family, laying the hammer down on some animals. The first section of this video is when my wife comes into town after the guys get done doing some exotic hunting and we're trying to get her first animal ever on the ground. So Justin had been in Texas with the guys hunting with Jeremy for a few days. I flew in right at the end once the guys left to do a family vacation and try to get either my first deer or my first hog. There really isn't many other places like this. To be able to come out here and hunt in the hill country of West Texas, it really is just beautiful out here. The first evening we went out to a property that they had been seeing a bunch of hogs. The thought was that maybe I could get a hog under my belt before I tried to get my first deer. So Jeremy puts us out at this place and it must have only been about 10 minutes after he left and we had this smaller hog coming in. He got settled under the feeder and I decided that that would be the shot that I would take. And I still remember to this day the first thing I asked Justin was, where did it go? Um, it was laying on the ground. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> you didn't go in there. You oh. dropped it. <laughs> Dang, Patty, can you give me some shooting lessons? I'd sure appreciate it. See, at first, I thought Justin was trying to sabotage his wife by giving her a one shot. I mean, this gun has a track record of like zero on the first shot, but she manages to break the curse and kill this thing with the first shot. Well, good job, Patty. So another group of about 30 hogs came out later in the evening. Um, our goal was to do a double, so Justin said that he was going to get lined up on his hog and then once he shot, my goal was to try to get another hog if I could. I get the camera set up thinking that everything is good to go, the hogs are in frame, and as I get ready to take the shot, apparently the hogs will walk right out of frame. I shoot, I drop my hog, and then right after that, Patty shoots another one on the run and drops it. It was a great experience to finally get um, a hog or any animal underneath my belt. I was thankful that I got to shoot a hog first because it meant that my nerves would be a little bit better when the day came to get my deer. So um, we had a large group come out and we were hoping they would come a little bit closer to us. Um, but they started to get antsy so we went ahead and shot. Justin shot first and then I got this one as they were going away. I can't tell you how excited I am to see my wife finally harvest the animal for her first time uh, after never hunting her entire life and I helped teach her how to shoot guns and then to finally have this moment happen it was surreal. It was our last morning to hunt before it was time for us to return home so we drove around with Jeremy to see if we could find a small access deer for me to shoot we drove past a small buck, it didn't move. We came back around and he was still there, so I took the shot. Patty, I didn't told you, just take the gun. Don't even ask, put it in your side of the bedroom. <laughs> you can kill with it, but hood sure came on the first shot. I can no longer blame the gun for Justin's misses. I mean, that's clearly what's going on here. Y'all can figure it out too. Mm. So it was a great experience to shoot my first deer. A little unconventional being that I was in the back of a pickup truck, but I made it happen and I, we didn't have to track him. So being out here and spending quality time with my wife in the past few days is what memories are all about. I just have had a total blast and I'm so excited that she was able to get not one but three animals on the ground during this trip. So on the next part of this episode, I'm traveling back to Jeremy's property with my dad, my brother, and my grandpa for our late season whitetail hunt. During this trip, the weather was very unfavorable and very hot. The deer had pretty much already rutted at this point, and you we pretty much were just hunting whatever stragglers that were left on does. So finally, on one of the last mornings I was out there, I had an eight point show up that popped out onto the road where we had corned up. Once I got the camera on him and got him in frame, I got situated and squeezed the trigger. Good. 
I told you to get Patty that gun. You sure can't get with it on the first shot. One shot's back at it again. So I'll hurry up and reload and shoot again. You know, I, I almost thought for a second the gun wasn't cursed, but she puts it back in Justin's hands and what does he do? He misses the first shot at this great Texas buck and kills it the second shot. I mean, I. Like I said, I think it just runs in Justin's family's blood, honestly. His dad last year, him, I mean, it, come on Justin, something, something ain't adding up. I mean, I don't know why Justin can't make the first shot with old one shot, but I sure can. Man, this is a really pretty buck. It's really symmetrical, um, which is one of my favorite things. I love a symmetric buck, and uh, he's definitely uh, just getting out the rope because his hops really stink right now. In the final section of this video is whenever I traveled back to Jeremy's place during turkey season with my buddy Chandler. We didn't have any success turkey hunting, so we decided we would turn our attention to shooting some hogs. So Justin's been itching at the bit to break in this new rifle of his. It's 300 blackout, I mean it's a bad to the bone bullet. Sure enough, it wasn't very long after we got out there, these hogs came out right to the feeder. I singled one out and I took the shot. Smoked him. Broke in the 300 blackout the right way there, Hood. Thanks for watching this episode of Southern Veins. In the next episode, Matthew and Chase are going to show you how they get it done squirrel and quail hunting.